Hi, I'm Sonia Nadina Haynes. <laughs> Welcome again. Uh, today, I would like to talk about um, what a lot of people find really important, which is uh, giving, giving. And giving is a very interesting thing. We like to use the word charity, and yet the people who receive charity have a hard time with that word. Um, you know, in the Bible, charity was, well, charity was um, opening your heart and embracing someone else. We can be charitable with our love. We can be charitable with a hug. But today, most times when you hear the word charity, it's looking at money. It's looking at the amount of money we give to others, whether it be a kwati, which is my grand, my great grandmother's word for a quarter of a penny. Um, I don't know if that still exists in the world, but it used to be in Jamaica when I was growing up. Or it could be millions or trillions of dollars. So, um, We've, the world has been uh, a very charity-focused world, and I think it's time for us to figure out where does charity begin. Uh, yeah, there is a statement, charity begins at home. When you give to yourself and you're full, then it makes it much easier and more comfortable to give outside of yourself because there, there's no... Um, sense of um, lack there's no sense of limitation you know it's funny because giving is always a two-way street when you give on the one hand it you end up gaining something which is a sense of importance a sense of self ah I've helped that person right when you give and you're hoping for a reward, it's a good idea that the reward happens in the physical world. So, you know, when you're giving, um, I think you need to give a little to yourself as you're giving to others. You should put the mask on yourself first so you can, before you put it on, even on your child, because guess what? If you pass out, if you're out for the count, who's gonna put the mask on your child?